What's up YouTube? It's the OCR guy here with the first video ever here for you. I created this channel because I want to share my passion for fitness and OCR with y'all, but also cooking, gaming, whatever I want to do. But I'm here today to pose a hypothetical to you. So, it's the week of your first race, and you've been eating nothing but burgers, Doritos, and Mountain Dew, because that's all you got in your house. Well, don't worry. I'm here to fill the void that all those super secret diet pills and fad diets could never fill. And that's actual nutrition. So let me be the one channel on YouTube to deliver some quick, easy to digest truth about race nutrition. Anyways, one thing we want to change about our nutrition the week before the race is carb intake. Now don't take that as going eating a bunch of donuts and white bread, because carbs have two sides. So you got the simple carbs, white bread, sweets, whatever, break down into blood sugar quick. If you're eating simple carbs the week before the race, it's like using a triple mushroom in Mario Kart to get ahead of everyone and then even getting your ass blue shelled and ending up in the last. God, I hate Mario Kart. Then you got the complex carbs, which actually slow the breakdown of sugar and are higher in fiber usually. They keep you like a well-oiled engine. They keep your muscles glycogen stores up to the brim for a lot longer, so that means you fatigue a lot slower. I like this whole wheat peanut butter and honey sandwich here. Mmm. Sweet protein, and a lot of fiber from the whole wheat bread. You know, there's a lot of great sources of complex carbs. Wheat bread, oatmeal, even bananas. <laughs> now maybe a day or so before the race, there's some complex carbs I like to cut out, like brown rice or baby spinach. They can cause GI problems during the race. Now the thing is, some people take this carbo-loading thing a little too far. If you're running anything less than a half marathon, you shouldn't be going to Olive Garden three meals a day and getting endless pasta and breadsticks. It doesn't work! Like I said though, some more carbs definitely does help, but your body still needs those proteins and fats to keep you going the week before. You're gonna want to be including some low-fat proteins like chicken, turkey, and fish in your diet. But I don't understand, why fish? Isn't chicken like the best protein or something? Well, yeah, but fish have omega-3s. Now the reason I think omega-3 is so vital to runners is because it makes your body want to burn more fat and less muscle. So basically you'll feel a lot better for a lot longer during your race. Well, I just finished this banana, I'm getting serious Mario Kart flashbacks. But enough of race week, let's get to race day. Maybe four hours out or so I like to eat a breakfast rich in complex carbs, maybe even throw in some egg whites for that protein boost. But if you're getting closer and you need a snack, I'd go with some simple sugars like apples or bananas. But remember, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Water, even soy milk are some great sources of hydration the week before your race. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe below. Maybe even leave a comment and tell me what you want me to do next. Now we got a lot of good stuff in the works here. We got a race recap coming up for the Spartan race this weekend. Workout videos, cooking videos, more fitness advice. I'm planning a legendary cheat day sometime soon as well. All this and more guys. Remember to stay strong, but for now, peace out.